friends. Today we're going to practice doing a butterfly. And so today we're going to have a little project where um, you're going to outline your butterfly. First block in your background a little bit, either an oil or acrylic. Paint that in and then where do you want your butterfly to be? Do you want one butterfly or a multiple butterfly up in the air such as this or do you want it landing on a, a flower or a little stem or twig when a figurine is great to use too. These are really fun to paint, paint from and um, I'm here at Valorosa Gallery. So welcome to art class. And so right now I really like this little guy right here. So I'm gonna put him over here and butterflies come in all different shapes and sizes. So block out, outline. I like to outline and paint, and so I just, you know, go right to it. Um, outline your bug body and his shape. Um, it's almost like an upside down heart shape. And do you want another one up in the air somewhere else? So if you do two, you might do a third one off the corner somewhere. And um, just think about that. Think about your background and what you want to have around it. And so that is how what we're going to do and so i'm kind of blocking in my shapes blocking it in Get some nice dark shadows and this is a great way to go in and kind of correct and paint in the darkest spots of your butterfly and to kind of correct the shapes, correct the shapes of your butterfly. I have one over here, here's his little body, and then I have one right here. And so I'm kind of going in painting a darker, like the darkest darks, go in and do your darkest darks for your shadows and then you'll come in and add your middle colors and then your highlights, highlights and do your little butterfly shapes. I've got some other butterflies to reference from. Uh, butterflies are harder than they look. They actually have a lot of details to them, a lot of fine detail work. And you can either paint it really loose and impressionistic or really fine with lots of details like this. This butterfly over here is very loose or, and this one's pretty loose and uh, then you can go in and add your patterns, add your patterns. To, um, butterflies have lots of patterns. You wanna build up, build up those layers. Just be careful uh, applying your paint so they don't stir up the colors underneath it to try to keep your colors a little clean. So we're gonna kinda outline, outline. Here's a great color here. So I'm gonna repeat that color, repeat your colors. Um, Butterflies are like a mirror image. One wing will mirror the other side, and so you wanna to try to kinda of catch that and try to uh, either have your butterfly at different angles or, or you can do it flat and try to get um, all the shapes in, try to get the shapes in. So I'm kind of outlining this in some turquoise and dragging my brush off, kind of, I kind of brush that off into my background as I go along and uh, clean my brush off, clean my brush off on the background. So I'm kind of wiping it off, wipe it off. And then if you want to pick up another color, I love to put a lot of white on because white goes on top of anything and it can just blend right into your underneath colors. This is kind of just a cheating trick, cheating trick doing that. Here's my bug body right here, got my bug body. And so I'm building in my design, just do a little design, lines, uh, stripes, spots. Butterflies have lots of spots, polka dots, or little stripe lines, little stripe lines too. Lots of fun lines, almost like a spider's web too. You could do them like a little spider's web, almost like little tree lines coming out, little tree lines coming out. It's just so many different variations of your butterfly shape that you can do. So I'm filling in just building up my layers and making sure I try to repeat on this side what I did over here and smooth and maybe blend a little bit, smooth and blend, kind of correct, go back in, correcting, correcting shapes, correcting shapes as we go along. And then pick up my brush somewhere else, 
kind of kind of pick up some more shadows to clean around clean around to give that butterfly a nice shadow a nice shadow behind it kind of wiping off this brush wiping it off somewhere on the edges um, on my paper on a paper towel and then let's see what color do we want to do to add to him green or yellow or a little orange or a little red uh, let's see we're gonna give a little line here a little line here uh, maybe one here maybe one here you know butterflies have a million different combinations just a million different combinations orange do you want to do a little swoop here a little swoop here and this can be just fine-tuned fine-tune if you don't like it then go back in and add another color wipe that color off your brush wiping it off and uh, pick it up I like to put some metals on it here's his body I'm doing some copper I love my metallics metallics are great to put in there here's this little guy over here add my metallics right here and right here and uh, what goes with blue this has a lot of blue you want to do a contrasting color some red or some green let's add some green to our butterfly put a little green over here green mixes in beautifully with white so here's this little guy over here. We can make him more green. And then if you want to repeat your colors, it's good. You know, you can draw outside the line, paint outside the line to make your butterfly even bigger. If you want to expand him, just go outside your outline. Paint outside your outline to really thicken it up. Thicken it up. There you go. Kind of just fatten him up. Keep, keep fattening up your butterfly. If he needs to be bigger, pick up some another color, some white goes with anything that's a good you know just cheating color so let's pull let's pull him out let's make him more dramatic make him more dramatic just there we go just enlarge we're just enlarging our butterfly enlarging enlarging and uh, here's his little head and he's got his give him some antennas here's his little antennas coming off coming off so we go back in overlap it's great to overlap things because that makes them even more three-dimensional don't let them just um, butt up to each other like drag we're gonna drag this one behind the butterfly he needs to go behind this one so they look m more three-dimensional and with when you use any color use three shades of that color you want to have a shadow a shadow in there shadow it in the corner shadow shadow Shadow, shadow, shadow. Let's see, blue and brown make a good dark, dark shadowy color, almost like black. So let's put a little of that over here for a nice shadow, out, even outside, outside, outside. And this one's a little stripey, so I might go in and soften these lines. I like to soften my lines. So let's pick up some white, give him some more white. And let's see, give him some spots. Let's break our lines down, break our lines down a little bit like that and that will there you go spoon it on spoon your paint on and try not to muddy it up too much kind of like what i'm doing here i'm getting a little bit muddy especially with oil paint if you uh, if you stir in too much it can really get muddy very quickly very quickly so we're going to spoon a little bit of that on a little of that wipe it over here wipe it over there try to do one side and the other back and forth back and forth to repeat 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 what you're doing I've got a nice little twiggy branch growing behind them and so we've got a little twiggy branch we can add some highlights to this this will be a great branch to go in and add a few little leaves to just to make it interesting keep it interesting uh, here's a few little leaves Although the butterfly is, the leaf should be ginormous compared to this butterfly to be in proper perspective. So these are just little buds, little buds, even a little greenery, a little greenery in the, in its natural setting. Okay, purple is an awesome shadow color. Add your purple, go in and add some purple. Purple blends in well with lots of things, lots of things. And let's, and so you can point off, if it gets too rounded, point off those, um, make them a little bit more pointy. Let's make him a little bit more pointy to give him more of an interesting shape and not quite so rounded off on the edges, more like mother nature. Mother nature, give him a more, 
you know, interesting shape. Give them an interesting shape too. Don't feel like you just have to do rounded. I have the bad habit of just rounding everything off instead of just giving it the nice, really interesting, uh, realistic shape. So here's some, some nice shadows against his wings in here. And his wings in there and then I'm picking up more copper for this right here and just touch up and then I'm gonna go in and clean up clean up clean up do the branches uh, do some little more spots and and when I have nice thick thick paint I'll take a nice scratchy stick and I'll scratch my name in it somewhere right into the wet taint wet, wet paint carve your name into your wet paint while it's still wet even halfway through your painting and so I like to do that too. so much for joining me today with painting a butterfly uh, keep practicing your butterfly it takes lots and lots of practice to master the, the butterfly they're actually really harder than they look um, just practice your patterns making your shapes uh, keep doing your shapes and keep layering just layer 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 until it has enough dimension that it looks really three-dimensional with every layer it'll give it more a thicker thicker quality and make it more three-dimensional to really pop it off uh, the more shadows you have and the more highlights you have just will give it bring it to life just really bring it to life with all of your dimensions make it make your darks darker and make your lights lighter to really make it sparkle give it a highlight and make it glow give it a little metallic to really make it pop and give it a little bright color here and there Give it a little piece of orange. Orange really brings things to life too. Orange and red to give it a little sparkle somewhere. Just be careful not to turn it to green when you paint over blue because that really can get really dirty in a hurry. And you might have to wait a day. Let it sit and rest for a day and come back the next day or two and see how it's looking. Go in and do your corrections. Um, paint around things with your background, background color too to really make it pop out at you. And so go in and direct, do your corrections, work on your background, um, give it some little leaves, give it a little character, give it a little sparkle and character until it pops and, it, and the brights are brighter and your darks are darker. Thank you so much. Uh, please click like and please follow my channel. For